Hey, can you find a water bottle for me? Something so simple. Good afternoon, Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Wednesday, December 20th. Well, it took a late night vote in the Senate and then a revote by the House of Representatives, but Congress has passed the giant tax cut bill, the majority of which will benefit corporations and the wealthy, although the, the backers of it say eventually middle class people will be helped with some small tax cuts and then a reviving economy. On that front, the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania issued a new study today on the effects of this legislation. You know that Wharton is where Donald Trump went to school and he often touts it when he talks about how smart and qualified he is. It says that this bill will increase the deficit by two trillion dollars over the next ten years and will have almost no economic impact, a small amount in the very beginning that will diminish over time, perhaps one-tenth of one percent increase in economic activity, it, it predicts. Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families put some numbers on the effects in Arkansas. The top 1% of Arkansas taxpayers, that's oh, maybe 12,000 people, will realize almost a third of the dollar benefits of the tax cut in Arkansas. The bottom 60% of Arkansas taxpayers, some 700,000 people, will get only 17% of the benefits. You might be interested as an Archean seeing some video I've posted on our website of Senator John Bozeman being met by people protesting in the hallway of the Senate that the end of the insurance mandate on a Obamacare will mean that millions of people are going to lose health insurance. They'll be forced off the, off the market. They won't buy insurance and they won't have health care coverage and that will have a downhill effect on hospitals and health providers. Elsewhere in the news today, Bobby McAllister, the circuit judge from Saline County, uh, <coughs> pleaded no contest yesterday in circuit court in Saline County to failure to file income tax returns for five years. He actually hadn't filed tax returns most years for the last couple of decades, although he did pay taxes and withholding in some cases. He lost his job as a, as a judge. He'll get a probationary sentence of four years. If he completes probation successfully, uh, he'll have his record expunged, he won't have a criminal record, and he may be able to still practice law. I've learned further today from the House of Representatives that it was indeed a sexual harassment complaint made against an Arkansas legislator that, that was produced a document that perhaps could have been supplied in response to a Freedom of Information Act request by the Associated Press. The House, backed up by Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, has cooked up a a really bogus explanation for why this document should not be released. It says it's a personnel record. Well, the House doesn't employ members of the House and doesn't decide whether to hire or fire them either. This clearly complaint clearly should be released even if it was found to be unfounded. We're going to press that FOI request further on that document. Doug Thurman, a 17-year lineman for North Little Rock Electric, was killed on the job this morning. He was working on a down power line when he apparently was electrocuted. John Rogers, who made a big amount of money and a lot of headlines and then lost the money and found himself uh, accused of crimes will be sentenced today in a Chicago federal court for defrauding people of millions of dollars in his sports memorabilia and photograph business. The prosecutor wants him to get 13 years and to be ordered to repay $23 million. I suspect he'll have a hard time repaying that money no matter how much is, is ordered. In Mulberry, Arkansas, in Crawford County yesterday, uh, police went after a man who shoplifted some snuff for a convenience store. They found their suspect in an apartment, tried to order him out. They say he pulled a knife. They shot him dead. He was a veteran who said to have PTSD and also had uh, psychiatric disorders. That case remains under investigation. Louis Sella, the son of Charles Sella, the longtime head of the Oaklawn Park Racetrack and Casino in, in Hot Springs, will succeed his late father, who died earlier this month, as head of that operation. Another brother in the St. Louis area will, will head the financial and real estate arm of the Sella family enterprises. And I say resist every day. Resistance can work. A great outcome in Virginia yesterday, a recount of a state house race there, produced a one-vote victory for the Democrat, and that one-vote victory was enough to end Republican control of the House of Delegates in Virginia for the first time in several decades. Resistance does matter. Votes do count. Even one single vote, as this case showed, this, was, this, this victory came. A, it reversed a 32-seat margin for Republicans in Virginia, it, despite gerrymandering, despite efforts at vote suppression. So don't give up. Keep trying. I'm Max Brantley. I'll be back tomorrow.